Hey guys, it's Lix, and I know that it's been quite some time since I've last done a voiceover on this channel, but for today's video, I thought that I'd give a bit more extra effort and try recording one anyways, because I miss talking to you guys, and I'm sure that you've missed my beautiful voice as well. I'm kidding. But for today's video, I am doing the ballpoint pen challenge as well as a kind of no eraser challenge, since I'm not using any guidelines or an eraser. Now, when it comes to ballpoint pens, I have almost no experience with them at all. Well, as an art supply, I guess. I've maybe drawn with them twice in my whole life during those long hours of lecture trying to keep myself awake, but I do sketch with micron pens and other technical pens from time to time in my sketchbook. Speaking of which, sketching a pen is actually really beneficial when it comes to upping your line quality. It really makes you commit to the lines that you make and make your lines more confident as well. So I definitely know how it can be super intimidating slash scary to start. So for this challenge, I initially wanted to try drawing something more out of my comfort zone, and I did achieve that a bit with the detailed hair and ruffles, as you'll see later on in the video. But the fear of messing up and ruining the drawing definitely stuck with me throughout the whole process. It's not like I can press Ctrl Z and then do the mistakes that I make. So because of that, I ended up with something that's pretty much within my realm of artistic abilities, or my quote-unquote comfort zone. And I think that's actually a very important and interesting to keep in mind. When we use mediums that we're not familiar with, we tend to draw things that we know will turn out better in fear of making something that looks quote-unquote ugly. But yeah, I definitely have newfound respect for those who draw exclusively in pen, as this was pretty challenging for me. And the hardest parts of drawing with a ballpoint pen, in my experience, was that I had to think ahead and plan in my head a lot. I had to constantly account for forms that are in front of each other and making sure there aren't any overlapping lines. Also, certain things, like wavy hair, was already hard for me to do in my comfy mediums. But doing it with a ballpoint pen, man, that really hurt my brain. And another difficulty was shading. It was hard to get a unified chunk of the same value, because whenever I pressed just a little bit too hard, it would show in the shading. Smudging was also an issue, but I think that was just me being careless. <laughs> Overall, I had a lot of fun doing this challenge, and I wouldn't mind doing it again, but maybe with a more difficult subject than something that was pretty much in my comfort zone. Um, I know the speed paint isn't quite over yet, but I have an assignment due in 3 hours, so I'll get to that now. Thank you guys so much for watching, and see you in my next video. Bye-bye!